Greetings everyone, and great here with another Cup Heroes 1 replay. Spell on top right side as the US forces of Brick Top. Spell on bottom left side as the Vermont forces. We have Tech No. Also got a two engineer opener. We may see yeah, we're all gonna see three pioneers, and I'm gonna come see a third engineer on this map. So this usually like three capturing angles. So two engineers versus three pioneers. Very much course going on up. Rifleman being pulled on out. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Rifleman being pulled on out. Grandma quarters still being built. There it goes, fully built, and likely we'll see a Volkswagen Deer. So though it could be possible for an MG42. Engineer squad ready. Engineers look like high line to go straight for. Maybe they're trying to lay down some wire right here. Rifleman now being employed on out. Over here, engineers have catch up the fuel point. These engineers making their advance. I'm thinking they're gonna rush some wire here. Nope, they're going straight for that point. Pioneers have cut off, captured the cutoff point. And this point here is also a cutoff point for this munition sector as well. And we, I was wrong. There's a Shimon bogging up on field. You know, it's an amphibious vehicle. This game does not support amphibious capability, so it will drive across the road and not swim across the creek. Rockland squad pushes way forward, maybe gaining a bit of damage there on the Pioneer. The and the Pioneer does see a bit of damage there, does not drop a model just yet. German Vulcan now engaging the Engineers, trying to stop the capturing along the flanks, very nice. Engineers capture this uh, VP, not going for the initial sector. This cutoff point is not captured on just captured up just yet. Going straight for the victory point as well, so he's going to get a brief victory lead. Right now, single capture, soon be a double capture. His opponent's very far away from catching this VP as well, so Paul's going to go from initial point, then the VP as well. Point is now captured on up. This mission sector being captured. German Vaughan still camped in this region. Engineers can't do much with it nearby, and the Pioneers are going to capture up this mission sector. Great field control coming out by the Wehrmacht player. Do not have a Volksgrenier to pull out on the field. We'd like to see a second rifleman on the field. Yes, we do. And a third rifleman squad on the way. Mission sector being captured on up. This one's been captured up as well. And this other rifleman squad has captured up the field point as well. The third rifleman squad should perhaps push this way. Size just do a full retreat. Maybe I need to pull out. Maybe a weapon sports center. Volksgrandeers and Rifleman Squad now engaging when the Volksgrandeer model side dance in front of the wall. Additional Rifle Squad now pulled out in the field. Rifle Squad taking quite a bit of damage here. Territory sector being captured. Rifle Squad taking a couple hits there. Shimvaka making their advance. It does have those sorry for rifleman so uh, rifleman squad in this garrison, but appears to only be two windows firing out, not up here nor these other twos. Not sure if that's just a bad bad thing about the building or just the other guys being occupied in another direction. We're losing a fuel Volkswagen center. is falling on back. He's now firing out out of more windows now. But overall that church is not doing him all so well when it comes to fire support. Both grenadiers trying to gauge this. Rifle squad to engage the Volkswagen Deer. MG42 sitting on up. That's how this rifle squad inside this garrison. And that garrison does have three windows inside, so three out of four models is a good number. However, they're quite wounded in general. Another rifle squad now pulled on out. This point is being captured on up, and the Jim Vaughan does take a bit of damage there. <laughs> MG42 took a bit of a hit there. Shermwagen taking some fire there. This Pioneer does fall back as well. Oh, 
And now we've got the Pioneer being forced on back of here. Rifle MG42 does withdraw. The rifle from the squad said that Garrison is on the outside of the Garrison. Getting some damage there on that Pioneer. And the Pioneer is also being by Engineer. Volksgrandeers engaging the Rifleman. Should be fine for the Volksgrandeers. And find oh, the engineers may have found a landmine here. They're wounded. The rifle squad wounded. There is not much blood left in them. Volksgrandeers and Force Rifleman squad. It's gonna be a prolonged fight. Flamer engineer getting some damage there on the rifleman. I got bar riflemen. Riflemen or Flemish Pioneer does get fully wiped out. Bar rifleman over here. Bar rifleman swan needs to fall back sooner rather than later. No triage center over here. And got additional Vol uh, Volkswagen in the street and sniper rolls a miss. Rifleman squad falls back. Shemrockin has a possibility of wiping out the rifleman squad, but unlikely. Don't see any landmines in the tree path. We're losing a munitions point. He's going to try to pursue it. Nope, he's not going to try to pursue it. Now going to be getting the squad with getting some free shots Front there. And does to capture the fuel point now. And falls back the squad as well. Three are also going on up. These squads need quite a bit of healing. This rifle squad could push forward while the other ones stay back. This engineer needs healing as well. Going from Minesweeper. Very nice. And he may have to sit there for a bit of time to get healed up. People. I think these two rifles can push forward now. You can't really stay in your base for too long. MG42 finding good garrison. Probably this one. Trimvogin here and the Volkswagen is going to capture the cutoff point. And that will cut off a bit of resources there. Rifleman squad does get behind some heavy cover there. Alright, for some sandbags. Front shifting. Routes are grabbing territory for us. MG42 does get some good suppression there. He could try putting some sandbags right around here instead of right there. Report we are losing a sector. Volkswagen is decapping the sector now. US players push forward heavily up north. Two engineers, two riflemen squads. He has four riflemen squads on the field. This one does not have the minesweeper. This one does have a minesweeper. And I don't see any landmines at the moment. Oh, well, now we do. And soon we will have. But the pioneers will spot this. Engineers yeah, may spot this. Supply. Pioneers do fall back. This landmine is nice and hidden. We may see Jeep put on the field since the opponent has gone for a sniper. The sniper is currently located right there. MP40 folks not on the field. Rifle squad taking a bit of damage. And now we've got the MG42 suppressing down the squad as well. Instant damage on the squad there. MG42 redeploying. We do got a landmine here, which you will find. And that squad needs to fall back. Just too much fire right there in the first place. Mass Street coming on out by the US player. I'm not sure we should go for the moment. Doesn't have enough munitions for often power shoot nor strict sport. Ooh. What exploded? With one of our sectors. Ah, looks like a pioneer got exploded. Another U.S. landmine right there. A rifleman squad and full screen is gauging for the MP40 folks getting some good damage. They're already pretty wounded. They do have extra suit one. It's going to be relatively equal to five, but this rifle squad may just need to fall back uh, right about now. They're far too wounded to continue. Two more rifle squads way forward. They're both either fully healed. Nope, this one's not fully healed. It has a sliver of health missing. Let's look at down here the health bar. And when I select this other one, you see it grew slightly, shrunk slightly. 
And now he's definitely now full health. Both centers before four, they're in the negative ground. They're right. The bar should be very effective here. He's trying to overrun the sniper. Sniper does full withdrawal. Could not likely going to get wipe out the sniper there. So, running around, force him at the vulture. He's going to open a little bit better, but they're both falling back now. Listen here. Point is ours. Cutoff point has been resecured. He could try a landmine. Yep, there he is. Jim Vaughan taking a bit of damage there. M42 getting overran. He should have kept one of these squads on the high ground to flank it. And now he's fully withdrawing the M242 as well. Supply yard completed. And now do you see the weapon support center going on up? Landmine now being employed on field. We've got a good number of landmines from both sides. And since they don't see the decorator up here, they likely can't see each other. Does get the kill on that one model there, preventing the decap to that point. And the rest of the squad is on for the garrison. Engineers and pioneers now gauging it out. Two of the models are firing for the engineers. And of course, got the rifle squad to force back the pioneers. There is a landmine here, which could be triggered. Sniper. Getting some shots there onto the rifleman. And now got a motor pool being plot out as well. Defensive operations. defensive operations has been selected, so he's gone for infantry. Two, three, four, firing away. So maybe we'll go for a Greyhound or M1. Did lose this uh, engineer squad, minor loss. I do not believe this one had the Minesweeper. The yep, that's not a flamethrower backpack either. People. Psst. More landmines. Ooh. Landmine that kills off the Schimmenwagen. Very nice. Does save the 234 from buying landmine, so that's actually good for the Wehrmacht player, probably. But there's a chance he will find another landmine here very shortly. Will it be the 234 or with a Volksgrenadiers? Rifleman. Rifleman squad does find the now few observation posts. The wire there will help the point from being decaptured, but will not save the observation posts from being gunned down. The MG placement goes all the way over there, so he knows not to advance any far forward based on the formation. Does want to unit down. Again? Why is it that I always find the sniper finding a landmine in a replay? <laughs> it happens way too often. <laughs> the rifle squad now taking some damage there. We do got the Folks around here is taking some fire, including from two riflemen. Rifle squad's trick four gets good damage. Rifle squad kills, taking some damage over here. Folks around here is doing full back. We do have another landmine here. And now the rifle squad does fall back. Bunker. Medic gets sniped. One shot. One I suppose. I wonder if he realized he actually got the kill of, the, of his opponent's sniper of his landmines. One of those things that you probably can't really keep track of all too easily. Just one. You only see the explosion. Probably see the one experience ticker. But you, the lack of other squad could give an indication that he's got them the sniper. He may still believe the sniper's still alive. It's one of those things that's we hold the not easy to keep track of. We'll be taking Berlin by Christmas. Stoke gets a shot there. Landmine here could be done by the rifleman shortly. Nope, it does not. He does just have stick bombs research. And does find that landmine there. Needs to pull it through all the squad. He's about to get wiped out. True. But of course, it's one of those things that if you don't see the plus 19, you actually know it exploded on the sniper. Say there's a landmine up north that explodes. You don't know what exploded it. 
you weren't paying attention to it. You were paying that, paying attention to that one. I guess you may have. Did you see the plus 19 or no? I do. I do know this is one of your replays. Sniper fires away. Gets hit there in the Volks Grenadiers. Squad engaging the Volks Grenadiers. MP40 Volks Squad does crew the M1AT gun. The how you did? Oh, now you. That's a good thing to know. Of course, there's always going to be another sniper pops up. After all, I always like to say your first kill your sniper could be your should be your opponent's sniper. Let's put some fear into him. Vermont player has brought out another sniper there. Zero kills, so he does not know about it at the moment. I'll try to check when mine goes off. Yep. Something you should always try doesn't mean you always can. After all, it is for about a second you see the experience ticker mark marker. I know in Company Heroes 2, the explosions, like landmines, tend not to get the experience ticker markers sometimes. So that may not always be a possibility. By the way, there's now a Wehrmacht Sniper camouflage his way forward. And he's going to try to counter snipe the US Sniper, who's also camouflaged at the moment. And... Looked like he was trying to line up a shot there. Or he's just having idle animation. One of the two. Observation post field point has been deployed and out. This one has been rebuilt. I'm assuming it was destroyed. Didn't really, I know it was getting attacked. Didn't really see if it got fully destroyed. Do now have a fresh U34 now deployed on the out. We've up the ante. Germans now in double territory from us. So it looks like he has went from off of power shoot to the increased production speed. Maybe I'm for Rangers next. Not going straight for the M2. Landmine found by the Volkskrind here. Didn't drop any models there. Call a pull back, get medical supplies going. The squad does get suppressed. Sniper has made itself known. They take a bullet. Finds this landmine there before the sniper finds it. Ah, it was repaired. A little bit of a shame. And he got really lucky with that sniper again. Rifle squad engaging the Volkskrind here. Flame engineers. Like their sauerkraut, extra crispy. The Volkswagen will fall back with one last model. Rifleman squad also falling back down south. This point is untouched, nor any landmines to flood out. Joke still alive. Artillery support is now available. VM2 is now available. Supply yard level one upgrade. And MG42 is pushing my four. Let's switch over to the other player. Let's see. Error doctrine. Okay. Not sure if he has zeal yet, but he does, of course, have inspired salt and firestorm. The fear storm. Actually, tanks level one for the Stug. Maybe I'm for our V1 if you. Maybe he sees all the landmines thinking that he, is, that he knows his opponent's gone for believing his opponent's gone for infantry doctrine. Even though I don't think the rifleman has actually pulled out a landmine, it may give him the illusion that he has, and hence why he wants to go for the off map how artillery to engage the M2s. Let's just guess. If you have an on map Neville Warfare firing against the rifleman squad, it gives a pretty good. First onto him, does not wipe up the squad. The Yankees are attacking one of our Observation teams. post takes some fire from two sources. And now the flame engineer does fall back. Do a sniper in the center of eight kills. Are they gonna run into each other? It's not the first time I've seen two snipers run into each other. Flame engineers do fall back. The are our territory. Uh, Ver Vermark landmine there. Your sniper, so in this region. Vermark sniper, oh, fully withdrawals. Huh. 
why did he withdraw the Vermox sniper? Maybe he thought the M2 was raining down on its head? Two, three, four. Force back the rifleman. Additional forces pushing down the center. There's a mine super here. Very good. Let's sweep the landmines before hit the U.S. sniper explodes. We are losing ground. U.S. Sniper may could get spotted off a of power shoot running on in. They can search extra holy. Sniper does not get spotted here. Best mimic the is gravesite, so best mimic a corpse to stay alive. And the bunker does live. Could use a pioneer or the pioneer to repair it up. Before your squad takes some fire there, your sniper made itself revealed. Vermox sniper is currently right here behind the MG42. Vermox sniper may want to camouflage right about now. Sniper hits the rifle squad there, did not try to either counter snipe the US sniper. 10 kills, 1 fetch one. Rifle squad gained suppressed by the MG42. The US sniper knows the US player knows the Vermox sniper is in the region. But he's going to still try to snipe the MT4 too. MP40 folks and 234 in the region. The snipers are pretty close to each other. And they do spot each other. Grandmark sniper misses. Your sniper misses. <laughs> MP40 Volk Squad engage the rifling squad. Everything else is on fire from the Nubble Warfer. And when he peek on this gifted crew, Engineers falls back. US Rifle Sniper is still in the region. And the MP40 Squad needs to fall back sooner rather than later. Rifle Squad does fall back thanks to 2 3 4. And the Rifle Squad just getting picked off by the Stug. Was that a triple kill in one shot? I suppose when you're catching up, they can get pretty stacked and see they all exploded right there. M2 Hauser only well, got one building, which I believe that was the observation post. Nope. You can't say it's a good or bad RNG if both places missed the sniper shots. I think both players would be happy that the their sniper is alive. Pioneers do find a sniper shot there. The U.S. sniper may get a kill there. There's a Wehrmacht landmine. Doesn't get off another shot there. Rifleman looks like we'll find the landmine with soon, or maybe the flame engineers. They do explode. Best withdrawal. Two, three, four could wipe out that flame engineer. Does not. Rifle squad could try to keep them off. Grenadiers, right? Grenadiers gets a okay territory. grenade, two kills. And 4 2 finding some good suppression support here. This rifle squad could actually eye for the garrison gauge the MG42. This rifle squad does fall back, support one veteran units. One of our sectors has been cut off. He still has stealth munitions for a firestorm. He maybe. Hmm. He knows about that uh, USM2 on the field. He has enough munitions for a firestorm. Camouflaging forward a sniper to spawn on artillery may not be a possibility, but maybe send a minesweeper pioneer, take a path, go up around here, and try to get towards the M2. Take a long path around, and then maybe go here, then around the creek, and then make a mad dash for spotting as a possibility. Firestorm next to being called on in somewhere up here. Yep, it was right there. The US player is paying attention. 
And now he really sees the entire hill on fire. Act 38 now flew out on the field. Not really necessary at this moment in time. The Stug is a decent AK tank unit weapon. He knows his opponent's gone for infantry. There's a strong likelihood that his opponent won't be going for any sort of armored vehicle anytime soon. And he could just rely on the Stug for the time being. So I don't think the Pack 38 was a good deployment. Except for our cast division, we know it's not a good deployment. Though there is also an M10 now. So it will be useful in the near future. Ready for order. Volks Grenadiers. Volks Grenadiers. Let me get a nice little bit of triple kill down those Volks Grenadiers. Only get double kill and the 234 will force them back quite easily. That's the US landmine there. Two M10s now on field, so the Pack 30 is going to be useful. So that would be my bad call. Don't listen to me sometimes. Or most of the times. And no landmine over here for the US player. There's now a fresh landmine there. Still see the shot there and tend to see the shot as well. And does block the flame range here. If there's any chance that guy will be chased down and wiped out. Nope, it does not. Try and avoid the M10s. Oh wait, that US landmine was not actually complete. Folks going to find a landmine and a whole bunch of angry Americans. Our point now being decaptured. Handshake Grenadiers will have a bit of trouble versus these riflemen. Simply because they're just really outnumbered. Oh, here comes the number for Barrage. He does have access to the V1. Enough munitions for it as well. And does find some good suppression here with the MG42. The M2 is trying to barrage on inch to take some pop shots. And some of these rifles are going to be cinched a little bit from the Nev Warfare and Singer effect. Looks like the MG42 does go down. I think that may have been off a power shoot. It was cast recently, and there goes a the sniper. And that was just a continuous barrage on the, M on the MG42, which he just decided to run the sniper through there. The US sniper almost got crushed by the butt of the Stug. Pack 38, uh, Den Pierce was doing anything. Now allow the Stug to be easily overran. And the fouls being fired. Gets hit there. Pack 38 still not rotating around. Takes that one out. Stug gets a hit there. Bounce the pen. He's keep the higher health one in the region. May just want to run both of them back. This one does have an ancient crit there. Falls back there, didn't want to get crushed. And playing around with these uh, buildings could be a good idea to keep this uh, M10 alive because if he pushes too far forward, the other one could just advance forward and shoot in the back. That's a good spot it there. It's one pen. The M10 is about to go down. Rifle squad, maybe trying to fire for a sticky bomb. Those lose that M10 there. Patrick gets good hits. Should those go down? Rifle squad, if they have a grenade, now will be a good time to throw it. Patrick rolls a miss. I don't think it was actually targeting the M10. He does have access to range at the moment. Probably won't see any. Never war for barrage running right on in, and maybe on the barrage the M10. May hit the sniper as well. Looks like Nub Warfare is trying to hit the rifleman. 2 3 4 advance away forward. Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off. Rifleman squad, I'm for our sticky balls. Unsuccessful. M10 has to be careful. The V1 is now running on in. Maybe on top of here. Make it the M10. Make it whatever comes out. Look at this frag grenade. M2 does go down. Barracks could use some bit more canvas to patch up those holes. And the rifle squad is going to get overrun by a pair of MP40 bolt squads. Grenade has been thrown, but he threw in the pond. And dropped both bars there. 
Grandiers will pick up Enemy two bars. Even sniper not really firing all too well. Kill number 20. That was pinned down by MP44 full squad. This other one gets suppressed as well. Grenades been thrown. And does fall back full full squads. Reinforcements available. Off Mac combat group now being employed on the field. Gets a Ranger, Rifleman, M10, and a 30 cal. All of those items are will be useful. And the Ranger is not being upgraded with the MP uh with the Thompsons just yet. It needs a bit more munitions. The M10 will be very useful against the Stugs and other armored vehicles. The Rangers and Rifleman, of course, always nice to have. And the 30 cal having one or two is not half bad as well. Cause help them secure the territory. This is trying to get a uh, covering fire on the suppression on this uh, cutoff point. Or it could throw in the corner here to really make sure this VP does not get decaptured. By default, there's only a couple openings there, so the 30 cal can easily cover them both. Rifle squads have overrun the MG42, forcing them back. Barrack spontaneously combusted. Oh, looks like you're right. I was not paying attention to that. And the B one doesn't leave any cinder effect on the field. Unless there is a hidden one. Maybe the barracks received an out of control crit. And so had a delayed death. Could have been a missed shot from something that Brandon Farr, where I was left at zero health and a just random bullet flew out wide and hit it. That could be a possibility. I say stupid Enemy things. Oh, there goes a sniper. I say stupid things, but I wouldn't be surprised if such things exist. Though, may, may or may not put out of control crit. That's not applied on her weapon, that's actually applied on the in of your students, played off applied on the entity. In which a possibility can happen when it gets that certain health. On the health the uh criticals list. The enemy stands at 300 points. Hot fire at the V1? Possibly. But usually such effects are visible. And which as far as you know, in this game, there's no like damage over time for low health, like say StarCraft 2s or StarCraft's like uh, Terran structures, or Age of Empires 4 structures. Well, on Age of Empires 2, something could be on fire, ablaze, and be perfectly livable. Grappling squad does fall back there. We're losing a fuel sector. Intense pushes way forward. Their landmine here has been swept. It could actually get exploded by the M10s, blowing up the Pioneer. Pioneers do sweep it in time. Enemy unit down. Pioneers do explode. It's not for the landmine. And Shrek did get a hit there. Front shifting. Routes are grabbing territory from us. All right from the squads in case the Volks and Deers. Good hits there onto the M10. M10 does go down there. Two, three, four gains good damage. This M10 needs to fall back. That both our barrage running on in gains some good damage on the engineers. It finds some hits there on the Rifleman. And 30 cal will get inside the garrison. Rangers. Do not have the Thompson upgrade, which means they will pass the bazooka from model to model, which actually may be a good idea to not upgrade the Thompsons. To engage the 2-2-2-3-4s a little bit easier. Rifle squad are still laying down the landmine there. They will get deployed on out. Rangers will fire it up. Finds one hit there. For the Cal engaging, he could use, he may be using armor piercing rounds, maybe not. And the garrison does get garrisoned. There are one window on the side and two, three windows on the side. 
U.S. Sniper, 23 kills, Vectors C2. Will not be spotted by the Grenadiers, they're eyeing for this fuel point. And the M10 is going to repair it on up, Vector C1. Needs a couple more mi minutes of manpower to get out another off my comp group. Has enough munitions for another hour to shoot as well. Fly yard. Just still just level one. He's at a pretty high population. Maybe a good idea to go for level two before it goes to another off my combat group. B1 is another 100 seconds left in the cooldown. And, oh. And he does use propaganda war to force back those squads. Flame Engineers push my forward, can't stand on the Hendrix squad there. Rifle squad can be required by the MP40s, but vice versa as well. Grenadiers threw a grenade, unsuccessful. And the Volks Grenadier squad does fall back. Fuel observation post does go down, but he has plenty of fuel. US Sniper getting some shots there. Wehrmacht Volks Grenadiers do fall back. Grenadiers as well. Sniper gets another hit there and will full withdrawal. The Grenadiers will take a couple shots, but doesn't get the kill. Landmine plot over here in the 234. Maybe I'm hunt down the sniper. Landmine. Grenadiers have been fully built. Rifle squad takes some hits there. Not the control for a sticky bomb. And we're just inside the garrison there. Getting some hits there on the med bunker. Headwoofer. Hitting right there, M2 hits right there. That is a repair bunker there. The church is now set ablaze. And M2 finds that structure there. Rangers are okay. Not great at the moment. And they are pretty low in health. Probably a good idea to fall back soon rather than later. Does take a shot there, getting annihilated by the 234. M10 forward. He will not get the wipe there on the Rangers. Levels of Vector Seed just yet. Now I'll come see for Terror Doctrine and let's go for the final uh, for the battle phase in order to get out the King Tiger. Or more, I should say that he doesn't require Vector Seed for the King Tiger, though the Stug is Vector Seed 1. 334 gave some damage there. Propaganda War forced back both those riflemen, and there is enough manpower or almost enough munitions for a off map power shoot. Front shifting. Crowds are grabbing territory. No upgrade here. Not sure if he's gone for another off map combat group. Ah, he spent his uh, manpower on another M10. Doesn't leave up uh, his fatal chance by more off map combat groups. He's a pop cap. How it's off map power shoot raining on in. The med bunker has gone down. M118 gun needs to rotate around. Does get a pen there, has to board this pen track. And pen still getting repaired and ups. Your sniper now of Vector C3. Grenade's been thrown 30 cal. We'll get it wiped out. Not got a number for Barrage. I think raining in right there. Does get a good hit there, suppressing the engineers to get another great hit there. All these squads need to fall back. Does lose the engineer. May lose the rest of the stuff to the fire. So there's just another engineer there, and just leave one flame engineer remaining. And he's pushed away four, there's some still in this region. Pack 38, severely wounded. He does not have enough munitions for off my power shoot. Roll some misses there. Thing out that repair bunker is nice. Did he just okay? He had to bounce off a of Stug. He did not bounce off the two, three, four. I don't believe it. Stug goes down. M10 and FC2. Pack 30 finds a good hit there. They both need to skip onto there. Your sniper finds some pretty good shots there onto the Pack 38. There goes a 234. The half track is not garrison, so it can't shoot a machine gun against the sniper. Pack 38. The camouflage rolls a miss there when he really can't. Make into the short crit there. And does get the wipe. Sniper goes down as well. 
both us to this Patrick squad could pose a threat to both these squads to try and hunt down the damaged and crit one. Might as well take a shot at the not damaged engine crit. Does not get shot off there. Likely will get this one. We are losing a sector. And I'm gonna short a crit there. Grandiers will avoid the artillery fire. Nev Warfare. 17 kills, not bad. And the M10 needs some repairs. He does have the one flame engineer still alive. Off map combat group needs a bit more manpower and population space. Firing away, right? Just could fire it up. We do fire it up there. B34 doesn't have a whole lot of health remaining. He does have a pack on up. Nebworth for maybe I'm trying to hit uh, right there. Does for the frag grenade. Nope, Nebworth is raining up here, hitting the rifleman. Going for a landmine there at the moment. Nothing there to spot him. And Shimvagen and MP40 folks trying to displace that rifle squad. Rifle squad has now recovered from suppression, but I think he will not be able to win this fight. The Volkswagen are quite wounded. Level 2 production has been researched very good. Front shifting. Crowds are and more to the rear, running in somewhere. Rainiers do throw a stick grenade. Does get one model. Fresh Vermox sniper, two kills. This Vermox sniper may find the landmine. And we got the off night Howard Street running on in trying to stop the point from being captured. DPs are very similar at the moment. Our squad trying to run over there. It may draw the 234 into the landmine. Not enough missions for any visibility at the moment. Pretty close to propaganda war. Our friend decapture this munitions point is important. And the war for our rating on in somewhere over here. Our rifle squad will get in. We got a small hit there. The we will pull the withdrawal. Your slam I still not exploded. 234 is tempted to be exploded. And that little bit of a Weird move there could have revealed the sniper to his opponent. Or it could just be bad pathing company heroes. Or it could be explained bad pathing. But if the sniper was parsing the way there, we do now have another propaganda war there. That was a pioneer that just went down there. Another landmine exploded. This time the US landmine there. Rifleman squad throws a frag grenade. Not going to be successful. Act 38 is camouflage, barring the extra model firing away. As a U.S. landmine right there. Conqueror, ready. We have 200 points. Trying to point out nothing at the they moment. He must be pretty close to getting out the King Tiger. I think if he gets uh, the five command points, should be able to pull out the King Tiger. Yeah, he should be able to. Because he already has Propaganda War and Inspired Assault. 
That means it's probably safe to assume the zeal has been researched as well. That was good hit there. More artillery raining on in. MP40 bolts engaging. Practice oh, squad taking some hits there. Frag grenade thrown. That's going to be a good stick grenade. Does force the squads back. Construct engaging the M10. M10 does receive a miss there. Don't think he's gone for another off map combat group. Everything still seems the same. He's just mainly building out M10s. Not bad. But maybe at this point in time, a Sherman tank wouldn't be half bad. He's not fighting against Stubbs. I haven't seen a Stug in a while, so a Sherman tank wouldn't be half bad help the various infantry forces a little bit better. These are US landmines there, which we will find one. Rock Squad could try to jump around and keep stay around here to throw a sticky bomb or go and break the fire there. B34 is backing off, does not find the other landmine. Dagger now being clawed on out. And artillery is raining on in. The landmine has been triggered. Rifle squad does get suppressed there. M42 is getting it. So good first onto it. Rifle squad trying to overrun the pack 30. He knows it's there with the exposed cruise model. Rifle Squad does get pinned there. King Tiger gets a good shot off. M10 finds a good hit. Act 38. Sorry, seems some fire there, so it's probably a good idea not to go out for Sherman Tanks with a King Tiger out on the field. Sick Bomb does connect. That could get him some good damage. Rifle Squad being pulled off. Maybe trying to get some more Sick Bombs off. Oh, no engine crit there. And one each gun finds some shots away. Managers gains the fire down. Rifle squad throws another sick bomb there. Rifle squad gains a good damage from the Grenadier. There's damage from the crit. Rifle squad does fall back. M180 gun still taking pop shots. Another sick bomb has been thrown. Probably will just get damage. He may get destroyed in him crit. Nope, just damage. He does have three M10s on the field. 40 volts push them away forward. AT gun see a bit of fire there. M10 moving around. Need some rammer hits on the King Tiger just to make sure to avoid the cannon itself. This one's going to squad. Good chance to get wiped out. Rage spell upgrade of Thompson's. It'll be less effective versus armor. Shimbogan body blocks the M10 a little bit. King Tiger, M12 rotation. Receive a shot there from the M1AT gun. Near crit up by the Pioneers. Engine crit once again. Gets hit there on the M10. M10 needs to fall back. Took too much damage. M1AT gun having trouble. I think the M1AT gun may have got a kill there on the Pioneer. When, if uh infantry kill so that looks like he did take out a pioneer this pioneer has a lot of work in front of him he does have another repair bunker right here which is not being barraged and then just way forward in this uh 234 so it's an ancient crit sniper that's good spot there zero kill sniper try to hit the nev warfer nev warfer does do a nice dodge there And whips a shot. Have trouble tracking. I had a lot of those, numbers, uh, shots of Beardy whips. No Panzerfaust here. And the M10 looks like we'll skip on out there. Enemy unit down. Don't see any landmines here. US sniper. Two kill US sniper there. Zero kill Vermox ever. He knows it exists. Does he briefly solves it or has a knows the possibility of existing? 
all depends on whether or not he actually saw, saw it or not. King Tiger gets a shot down M one eighty gun, does the crit. Casualties being reported. Engine still critted. You're welcome. And if you want to see more, you can always check the uh, playlist. Because I think about 200 Copy Rose 1 videos at the moment. Victory for soft training way, old screen deers. Trying to engage. Old screen deers take a bit of damage there and they do fall back now. Now we've got an uh, off the power shoot raining on in. Trying to hit the King Tiger. That was good. One hit there. Probably won't get any subsequent hits, so never mind. I've been wrong multiple times, especially in this game. Rather than the squad doesn't give it hits. Oh, I think you got a couple more days ahead of you. <laughs> 234 still alive. Never Warfare still alive as well, but I'm pretty sure that gun's almost dead. The Rackham Squad decided to fall back over here. We've got the VP being, being decaptured. The VP is a very summer. Ooh, munition observation Rats post there. Very nice. The pan truck, however, is decaptured the point. The guy with the ball action rifle is taking pot shots against it. And now the pan truck showing him how it's done. Trying to take our territory. Three M10s are out on the field. One, of course, needs a lot of repairs. We have a secure sector under attack. Munition observation post will soon go down. And it goes down. Thompson Rangers not pursuing it. And the rifle squad quickly capture the point. M10 does get it. Does get repaired. Does have enough munitions to awesome map, off map power to shoot. His opponent does have not enough munitions for a propaganda war, nor any other ability that matter. Though I suppose he does have enough inspired salt. And the uh, Volk's going to just do find a landmine there. May need some medical supplies there on the Volk's screen here to get them healed up. Of course, I would consume some precious munitions. I suppose against snipers, they don't really need to be full health. Uh, snipers don't care what health you're at. Vermox Sniper is pushing forward. Your Sniper gets another shot there. Vermox Sniper gets a counter snipe and wipes him out. Engineers push it forward. Captured 30 cow. Suppressing down the engineers. Jim Vaughan. Specialty 2. Avoiding the M10 shots. King Tiger. Very far from being repaired. Let's get a shot there. This M10 does the flank. Rangers can also fire in a full flank as well, but they missed. Main got a short crit there. He may lose his M10, but like he's going to kill on the, on the King Tiger. More hits there. Off power shoot there on the repair bunker. And Rangers get himself killed, instantly triple vetting them. <laughs> triple vet to Rangers on the way four with Thompson's on top of the Pantrek. Uh, the M10 may go down to the Nub Warper. It does go down to the Nub Warper. 30 cal firing away, fires it up. And should be able to just run behind the 30 cal. And I'm gunning down. The rifle and squad does get forced back with two, three, fours, though one of them still has an engine crit. Grenades been thrown. Probably not needed. Explodes. M10 makes advance, trying to clean up these weapons. Could take up the Nub Warper this time. Damage and, damage and crit one could go down shortly. He saw the another warfer. I would say flips the another warfer. Goes down there. Triple vet M10. That thing can pierce anything now. It has a very, very small chance of bouncing off of uh, tigers, panthers, and probably even the king tiger. Rangers do drop the bazooka there, which makes it a bit easier for him to fire. Thompson does pick up the bazooka. And the Warfare are taking more N10 hits. And next shot will likely take it out. Or maybe not. Another very much cyber here. It was wounded, does have medical crates on him. I think he may have saw the US the Vermax sniper there, maybe not. Oh. 
So you have the pan shot there. This Noble Warp was surprisingly tanky and gets the crude before it explodes. Sniper's been found there. Q34 advances way forward. As to response to Panstrex, uh, Sticky Bomb does connect. At 3 M10 needs just floor, get out of there. Does go down. Roll sees a miss there. And M10 still alive, but not out of the woods yet. MP40 volts to overrun the M1 AT gun. Grenade has been thrown. Good little dodge there. M10 does escape on out. And the AT gun will be overran. Flame engineers showing the pioneers what a true weapon is. And the rifle squad does fall back there. Grenade is going to take time. There's a triple cap against the Wehrmacht player, so he doesn't have a lot of VPs remaining either. MP40 folks needs to fall back. He's trying to force back the Flame Engineer. Does get some good damage on him, and the Flame Engineer is going to fall back. Wehrmacht Sniper now fully heal. We'll be able to get some shots down the Engineers. Ooh. The Grenadier squad does escape out of there. Gears Play has enough uh, manpower for another off of combat group. Of course, needs one more population. Points. Oh, wait. No, he can get it right now. Sniper! Off of combat group now being pulled on in. Eh, not a great one. The AT gun will be nice. The 30 cal can be nice. The rifleman squad's good. The mortar. Not really useful at this moment, but it can be okay. Oh, sorry, I just saw a grumble comment. Howdy. Grandeers yeah. throw a grenade. He does what? void the ra void it. And I don't think as much he can do left this game. He has a large amount of uh, squads in the field. The U.S. player. Well, the Wehrmacht player doesn't have a whole lot left. He has good composition, if it was the mid-game, but this is in, into the late-game. Okay, location is ours. Rangers trying to push way forward. If it three Rangers could just pass stick behind the heavy cover there and just fire away. He does have both bazookas up and going, so he's down with Thompson. Yes, come on. Six millimeter mortar can help keep this area secure. And now Volkswagen Deer is taking quite a bit of damage there. They start out Grand Deer's persuade forward, but problem will be able to pump up too much. He does throw a grenade there. Man, it was actually decently good. Uh, at this point in time, he needs a bit more than decent. Rifle squad and flame engineers trying to recapture the central VP. You got two Pantrak Grenadiers. Did he get the uh, supply too? Yes, he did get a supply yard level upgrade too. I think he got that about 15, 20 minutes ago. So he has had it for quite some time. Rangers push my forward. Of course, only three Thompsons up and going. Grenades been thrown. Exploded, and the Grenadiers are forced on back. Grimlock Sniper, 10 kills. Trying to avoid the Rangers. And Rangers gonna fire it up. They are gonna run him down. Grenadiers are falling back. Sniper not falling back. He does fall back now. A unit has died with glory. You may can't hear more luck, rage, and rushing during the cast. I'm effort. guessing one of the players is raging, because I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to. Honestly, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of luck this game. A little bit of bad luck for some players, but nothing to great this game and uh, weirdness when it comes to uh, RNG mechanics. 
MP40s trying to get some damage here. The 30 cal placement attempting to be built, but does go down. Oh, more like this techno. Ah. Uh, no, I can't say if he's raging or not. Flaming here is pushing away for the sniper. Doesn't get overrun. Another Vermox sucker pull out on field. Trying to get some hits there on the rifleman. Just trying to resort to mass uh, snipers to get back in game. Good hits there onto the M10. Destroyed the crit. And if the rifle squad may get wiped out, the Vermont player only has 22 tickets remaining. And the M10 does go down. Doesn't have a whole lot remaining. Another pack 38 will be useful. And it it does cast some GG. And now Sherman tank. And last ticket is gone. This is Anne Grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.